Jesus name once again I want to thank God for the grace that he has given to each one of us as we continue along this Bible journey and today again we go back to one of the prison letters the book of Philemon you remember we said the prison letters the other prison letters are the book of Ephesians Philippians and also Colossians. Philemon is a very unique book because the other letters were written to different churches, but the letter or the book of Philemon was written from a Christian to another Christian. Paul wrote this letter while he was in prison at Rome and he wrote it to Philemon as a fellow Christian in faith. It was sent at the same time with the letter to the Colossian church and taken by the same person and he, the purpose of writing this letter was to handle a very difficult problem that was between two believers. One as the master and the other one is a slave. The two brothers in Christ was Philemon and Onesimus. And Paul was writing to ask for a favor because of their relationship to Christ and also to each other in Christ. Colossian Church by this time was meeting in Philemon's house and therefore the picture we have about him is that he was a well-to-do citizen of Korosai because of course he had a big house that could accommodate the whole church. Onesimus was a, a, a slave but something happened probably Many scholars believe that he loved or he stole from his master, Philemon, and he was a runaway slave. As a runaway slave, it was a great crime that could have resorted to death. And therefore, Paul is writing because Onesimus has, has already converted to Christianity and Onesimus has accepted to go back to his master Philemon. And now Paul is requesting that Onesimus be accepted back, not as a slave, but a brother in Christ. And Paul puts a request to Philemon that he is willing any debt to be put in his own account that Onesimus had. Onesimus name means profitable but we can say that he had failed to be profitable to his master but now because of the power of salvation he would be profitable. That is why Paul is studying in the car. The key theme of this book which is only one chapter is brotherly love. The key verses is verses 15 and 16. The outline of the book of Philemon is number one, the introduction, verses one to three. Two, character of Philemon, verses four to seven. Three, intercession for Onesimus, verses eight to 21. And in conclusion, number four, verses 22 to 25. The insights of this book, and I want to, lead, to believe as you lead it, you'll have more insights, is the practical Christian love whose key is forgiveness. The book also shows 
demonstration of the grace of God and its power in our relationship as believers. And not only as believers, but also our relationship with Christ. Also, number three, as you read this book, you realize that there is power to break the barriers that would separate us with our fellow believers. And this power is love. So I want to believe as we read through this book, the Holy Spirit of God will compel us to seek for brotherly unity as we apply forgiveness, the power of grace, and also love of Christ to others. Shalom. May the Lord God bless you. May we pursue this journey of leading the Bible and also making our family altar strong as we read the Bible together. God bless you. Amen.